Let's check on the futures after an epic Fed day. Uh, Jerome Powell delivered on all fronts and then some. So he basically said, we are no longer enemies. Um, I don't know if he meant to say it or not, but he pretty much opened the floodgates. So now it's up to the bulls to stop running rather than the bears to stop the bulls. And you can see that playing out in the futures right there. It's a one-sided affair. They are not even touching the moving averages. So if you can, there are no levels because of it. So if you can time your entries on uh, momentum, that will be your arena. Otherwise, avoid it. Because if you are a level trader, you don't have a lot of references. Maybe, maybe you can use this the longest twig I see, which is 4771.5. And also one above it, it's not a wick, but it's a level 4773. So if you can make those two levels work for you, that's great. Um, this is the ES, the S&P. If we go to the NASDAQ futures, it probably looks the same, exactly the same. Uh, some weakness, perhaps, from 16843, maybe it'll give you, if they lose that, uh, 16836. Catch that to see if they can come back out and beat all these wicks. So that's probably the one, quote, dip you can catch. Um, another significant level is down at 16812.75 and 16... 809.75. So we have three dollars there. That is the Nasdaq. The RTY also doesn't have any recent uh, resistance. Recent. It has resistance from older times. So it too is trying to break out, but it's not even close. And uh, levels. All right. I'll give you one at 1981 and 1980. So between those two numbers, you might have a level. Maybe between at the bottom of these two candles so 1979 you can see it's all the way up there um, I'm curious to see how we open tomorrow because this is extreme bullishness and I don't know if it's gonna carry through and build on it or get back and scratch your head and say what are we doing here let's go into gold gold had a pickup today it, it got saved by the fact that the dollar collapsed on the extreme bullishness of our Federal Reserve when the Federal Reserve says I am no longer as fiscally responsible as before. It's currency false. So gold has um, a shelf. You can see right there with the red line. This is a volume red line. I didn't draw it. So 2047. You can count these ticks if you want. This is a 30 minute tick. tick so we have three sets. And um, so 2049 and uh, 2047. I think the bigger pivot would be between 2045 and 2044. Silver is going to be similar to that. I think we'll jump into crude because crude is the one that actually, was that 30 minutes? 30 seconds. I said 30 minutes. I apologize in the earlier. Uh, crude has had a jump, but only to save it from the abyss. This is not something I would chase. Um, so the headline today may have helped uh, pop, but it doesn't change the fact that they've been selling rallies. So let's see if this rally right here is the same as the one before. If you want to zoom in to see if you can trade it, they are, they are buying dips inside this um, ascending channel from you know yesterday. So now we're up against levels that are coming up in play. 70.5 is a problem through 70.8. They are buying dips. They're going to approach that. Let's see if they get there. This red thing here you see, the W, um, its stopping point is 69.9. So let's see, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, something like that. So they did go above it a little bit, and now they're fighting for it. It'll be interesting to see if crude comes back, if crude comes back to 69.1. So into these candles right here, 69.1. That might have been it. So let's see. They need follow through tomorrow. This is the one that's most urgent for it to find some follow through buyers. All right. Hopefully this is a little update. I'll see you all in the live room tomorrow.